So the AI browser wars are officially here. It feels like every week there's a new contender. We've seen Perplexity drop its Comet browser and OpenAI just fired back with its own Atlas. And don't get me wrong, they're both seriously impressive. But what if one of the biggest, most trusted names in internet security decided to throw their hat in the ring? Well, that's exactly what just happened. The company is Norton. Yes, that Norton, the antivirus giant. And their browser is called Neo. This isn't just another smart browser. It's a browser built from the ground up with security and privacy at its core, packed with AI features you won't find anywhere else. And today we're diving into what might be the smartest and safest way to explore the web. All right, so I've got Neo installed, and the first thing you'll notice is what's missing. Look at the top of the screen. There's no address bar, no cluttered search bar. It's clean. That's because Neo is built on a completely different philosophy. It's a Chromium-based browser, which is great news because it means all your favorite Chrome extensions will work right out of the box. But the way you interact with it is totally new. Everything, and I mean everything, happens down here in this single prompt box they call the magic box. This magic box is your command center for the entire internet. Think of it less like an address bar and more like a conversation. For example, I can treat it like an AI chatbot. Let's ask it a question. What are the top five AI news stories today? I'll type that in and boom, Mio goes to work, scours the web and presents me with a clean summarized list of the top five stories. And what I love is that it doesn't just give you the information, it shows its work. Each point has a source link. So if a story about AI's impact on the stock market catches my eye, I can just click the reference and go straight to the full article. But what if you already know where you wanna go? Well, the magic box is smart enough to know the difference. If I type in a URL like github.com, it doesn't try to have a conversation. It just acts like a normal browser and takes me right there. And if I type a regular search query like latest AI news, it doesn't give me a chatbot response either. It pulls up the standard Google search results, just like you'd expect. By the way, you can set your preferred search engine in the settings, but for now, I'm sticking with Google. Now, here's one of my favorite little quality of life features. On this search results page, instead of clicking to open a dozen different tabs, I can just hover over any link. See this little eye icon? It's a preview button. I click it and a small pop-up window appears, giving me a quick glimpse of the web page without ever leaving the search page. I can instantly see if it's what I'm looking for. If it is, I'll open it. If not, I just close the preview and move on. It's a massive time saver. You'll also notice Neo has a built-in ad blocker working silently in the background, keeping your experience clean without you having to install a thing. Okay, so I found a deep dive article I wanna check out. Let's say this one about Google's new Gemini 2.5 model. But man, this thing is long. I don't have time to read all of it. This is where Neo's sidebar AI comes in clutch. Over here on the top right, I'll click Neo chat. A chat window slides out. Already aware of the page I'm on, I can just type, summarize this article, and in seconds, it digests the entire eight minute read and presents me with a perfect, concise summary. But it gets even better. The AI also generates suggested follow-up questions based on the article's content. Look at this one. How does the Gemini 2.5 model handle potentially high-risk actions? That's a great question. I'll click it, and Neo pulls the exact answer from the text, explaining the authorization controls in place for developers. I didn't have to hunt for it at all. It's like having a research assistant who has already read the article for you. Now let's look at a feature that feels genuinely next-gen. We all live in a sea of open tabs, right? Well, Neo helps you make sense of them. If I go back to the magic box and type the at symbol, a list of all my open tabs instantly appears. I can select my Google search results tab and maybe this other tab about artificial intelligence news. Now with both of them selected, I can ask a question across them. I'll ask it, find the connection between these tabs. The AI analyzes both pages and immediately tells me how they relate. One is about a specific AI model, Gemini 2.5, and the other is a broader overview of the tech field. Imagine doing research and having your browser tabs actually talk to each other. It's wild. And while we're talking about the chat, let's address the elephant in the room with AI, privacy. Check this message right here in the chat window. Your privacy matters. Mio does not store your chat history on our servers. Everything you do, every conversation you have is saved locally on your device. Norton isn't collecting your data for training models. 
This is a huge deal and a massive step up from a lot of other cloud-based AI tools. Now, of course, there's more. It has a voice-to-text mode for the magic box and these handy snippets that act as shortcuts for common tasks like explaining concepts or listing pros and cons. You'll also notice the tabs up top are automatically color-coded and grouped by category. All my tech-related tabs are orange, my work stuff is pink, and so on. It's a small visual touch that makes managing a busy browser so much easier. One of the most practical integrations is right inside Gmail. When I go to reply to an email, this little Neo icon appears. Clicking it gives me a few options, or I can just give it a simple feedback. I'll type a short sentence asking for more details on their packages, and in seconds, Neo drafts a perfectly professional and polite email for me. All I have to do is hit insert, and it's ready to send. This alone is an incredible productivity booster. Finally, Neo has a long-term memory feature. I can tell it, remember I am researching hybrid cars. It confirms it, and I can ask it to save this to my long-term memory. From now on, Neo will be aware of this interest and can use that context to better tailor my experience, maybe by proactively showing me news related to hybrid cars. And since privacy is key, I have full control to view and delete any of these memories from the settings at any time. So, is Neo the perfect browser? It's still new, and they're adding more features, but what it represents is a huge step forward. It combines the intelligence of an AI-native interface with the rock-solid security and privacy you'd expect from a company like Norton. It's smart, it's incredibly secure, it respects your privacy, and the best part? It's completely free to download and use. I've dropped the link down in the description below, and I highly recommend you give it a try. It might just change the way you think about browsing. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Norton Neo browser. If you found this helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll catch you in the next video.